Okay, now if the these are this is the Prophet Muhammad's testimony uh, according to the Seed International Version of the Holy Quran, uh, chapter one eleven verses one through five. May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined, and ruined is he. His wealth will not avail him or that which he gained. He will enter to burn in a fire of blazing flame, and his wife as well, the carrier of firewood. Around her neck is a rope of twisted fiber, right? Now, if I went into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, and on August 12, 2008, at 1040 in the morning, I ruined, legally ruined all of those who illegally ruined me, then how is the Prophet Muhammad talking about me? My hands are not ruined. My hands are legally um, constructed, right? My wealth is mental. His wealth is monetary. So how can his wealth will not prevail him? See, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange County in the state of Florida, your wealth has to be your truth. It, don't, it, it ain't about monetary wealth. It's about the wealth of your knowledge of who you are and what you did, okay? He will enter into burn in a fire of blazing flames. That's in the civil and criminal courthouses and similar in Orange counties in the state of Florida. I'm talking from the flame to you all. Now, I'm going to move on because I don't want it to be too long. Okay, um, now I'm reading from Proverbs 10 in the King James Version. Now, this is... Uh, Solomon's testimony, right? Now, this is the Proverbs of Solomon. This is, uh, excuse me, this is Proverbs 10, verses 1 through 3, I'm going to read. Okay, the Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the, is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivered from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he called, he casts away the substance of the wicked. Now, see, this is what I'm saying, right? This is what probably this is what Solomon said, and the treasures of the wicked profited them nothing in the civil and criminal courthouses and Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008, at 10:40 in the morning. Nor nor did it profit them in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. But my truth profited the world by me allowing it to. See, if I did not write my testimony right now, I'm going to read from my testimony about wealth and what I was saying. And this is on page 11 of the gift at the beginning of page 11. We who then work for less, then our value are preserved, and, uh, our value and preserve the devil's profit margin as the devil increases. Our indebtedness to the devil's, the devil. One must ask the question because the question is a valid one for which deserves an answer. But I of gift knew the answer, so I paid the debt unbeknownst. To the, un to the indebted, but the devil denied the payment of I as the devil denied ancestry to the indebted, for which is amnesty is the act of an authority like our government by which a pardon is granted to a large group of individuals. We for whom has been denied for long terms within a one life's term has allowed others to capitalize on the assets of us rather than allow us to capitalize on the term of our birth's time. We have been char uh, charged expenses as we were denied opportunity. We have been charged for our enslavement as if our enslavement was ordinary operating expenses for which was charged against the revenue for which we made. Our enslavers during the period of our enslavement. The devil has computed our past debts, but deny my present payment. So is our debt, our enslavement more valuable to them than the money, one of the reproduction, one of reproduction 
can reproduce, reproduce but their, their money is a production and their money has no value if their money is produced because their money isn't backed by nothing because their money wasn't earned. Now, okay, damn, it's over. All right.